Good morning, beautiful people. Well, so what's been happening with you all week, man? Before any of that, let me just show you something, right? Now I'm at Parker Street, Sedan, near Fusquare. You tell me this is safe, right? This truck is here all the time. If you don't pay attention, cyclist, see, this guy has to ride on the road. You gotta bang on this piece of metal. That's deadly. This truck, seriously, you need to figure it out. You can't park here, man. Oh, at least put something like a sign or something, like a really colorful thing and say, watch out, it's just black. Hey, so that truck, Come on, someone's gonna do something about it, right? What's been happening with me all week? I've been riding. Just wait for it. So I went on a couple of rides. The first one I did was uh, uh, I rode to Q Yarra Boulevard. It was my second time to do the whole thing, south and north. It's called uh, Yarra Boulevard. Out and back. Two days ago, Thursday night, I was gonna race a uh, criterium down Hopeless Crossing. I'm just waiting for the boys to come. <sighs> to be honest, I was late, as in, if I made it, I just made it, uh, which I don't, well, I don't like that. You know, I wanna be able to just suss it out the environment and. Give me like at least like 10, 15 minutes to to emotionally get ready and stuff, but it didn't help when there's road work and just block the whole bike path. By the time I figured it out, jump on it, it, it would be too late. So yeah, don't be late for crate. That means no crate. So Saturday, um, stereo black. Saturday is group ride day. Um, hopefully we can get some case in tomorrow as well. See how we go today. Uh, catch up with a few friends. Oh, weekends. Beautiful. Yeah. James and Polo. Here we go. Good morning! Hello! You. You. Sitting at the back of the bunch. Roll and turn towards Mori Alec. Francis, man! Where are you?
It's a You look good, man. I always look good with the drum. See that? Where's the light? Yes! <laughs> Albert Park at the traffic light will stop. Three lovely ladies. We're chatting to Marty. And the lights is green. He's not going. What's happening? Thank you. What do you say, Marty? <laughs> Cross I have to bear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, links in the bio. Uh, you'll find all his socials. Uh, link in bio. Please <laughs> fit. Oh, Chaney, man of many words. The um, finally on Instagram. This is the second time this has been brought up today. Chaney underscore Chris for all you single ladies. And uh, uh, links in the bio. Link. Yeah. Can I just say links in the bio? Picture. It's just so cute. <laughs> it's just like yeah. So oh. innocent like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thinking grows. Sorry, let me say that again. Let me say that again. Chaney underscore Chris for all you ladies and some men, just in case. And you should see and, his uh, passport photo. Uh, <laughs> click link in bio. <laughs> Tinder, Tinder. <laughs> this is uh. I actually don't know if this is even working, but what's going on here is just a little bit of extracurricular. I don't even know what you call this. It's called the SP Love. But like, I'll tell you what, Nick's, Nick's rubbing his shoulders. You know, I haven't seen Chris's hand since he's been doing it. The, uh... <laughs> look at this fucking hat. You're off. Look at this hat. Look, look forward, Martin, so I can look that way. Okay, now, how much cash does this cunt have? Jesus. It's beautiful, Martin. What's on the Where'd you pick this one up from, Martin? From where though? Where do you buy? Do you buy from Paul Smith? Oh shit, yeah. Cash, you're going into place, Yeah. Anyway, fucking beautiful. Thank you. So, I used to buy um, coffee from, uh, or I still buy coffee from Courtney. Yeah. And um, before I knew him very well, he, uh, he had some homegrown chilies in a bag at the, at the coffee shop. And I just sort of said to him, um, if you've got any spare, can I have them? Just another review you drink for from selling coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he started supplying me with chilies, and um, I think that's how. Is that, is that oh, legal? Yeah. Uh, Sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? I know. Pretty good chilies. What was inside the chilies? Straight out of Colombia? No. Yeah. They're pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. I heard a story. Why you have your emoji? Yeah, because I always, when I ride, I ride hard. <laughs> <laughs> Green. I go green and spit. <laughs> and that's his story, and he's sticking with it. <laughs> nice story. He's always got his mind on the way. He's like, yeah. I am sick. <laughs> that's what my, my counselor says. <laughs> I finished. Hello. Specialized. Show me this back yesterday. shop in uh, Newport. Six hours building. Yeah. It's called a uh, Spock and Sprocket. And that was far. The specialized guys go, it normally takes us a day. That's uh, Vinny. Oh, take a spin if you want, man. Jesus, that's too big for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Look at the details. Uh, yeah, it would be. That's all I mean. It's just a lot of detail. Right, this is a mad setup. Heaven, heaven. You got the room. You got the babies. Professional back stands, all the tools. Oh man. This is a hidden spot. This is awesome. Uh, no worries. 
These are the, the aluminium Craftworks. These are all aluminium, the Aero 30s yep. um, by Craftworks. And they're, they're not bad. They're not the lightest, but they're an Aero, yep. aero, aero rim. They're pretty wide, aren't they? They, everyone's going wider because it, it um, for what the tires, the shape of the tire. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone, everyone wants. It's a very marginal game, but everyone wants it, so they have to. Whether whether there's any truth in it or not, everyone does it. It's a tra trend. Everyone it, follows it, it now. Now, on that um, Ridley, the guy was saying, I think I want 28s. I said no, no, yeah. 25 will stress the hell out. <laughs> yes. 28. So. <laughs> yeah. There's a nice set of. Uh, Oh, it's got a sort of shit out. Yeah. Italian wheels. It's been laced, but not trued, obviously yet. Yeah. Beautiful and this hub. Is, yeah, we had it polished. These are gully hubs. Um, this, the guys own this bike from the age of about 16 and raced on them. He's now 70. Yep. And we're restoring the bike. So Italian made rims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. gully. It's a whole. It's got the arabesque group set. These are getting these. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. These are these are quality. Japanese made in Japan. Um, Panoramas. Beautiful. Yeah. It's hooked. No, <laughs> beautiful. I like the old stuff. Yeah. The 5.3. So that's the top of the line tube in the 7.3. Yeah. That's mine that's been restored. I've had that for 20 years. Wow. And look at the rear derailleur. You won't see many of those. It's a Spanish made um, Zeus. Oh, look at the details on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We've had it re chromed and rebuilt basically. Wow. So. The details are crazy. Yeah, they're a cop they used to copy the Campagnolo. It's hard to see from there for light, but it's um Yeah. Bevan. What do you think of the shop? Well it's cool because it's just completely honest. This is literally the method we work in and live in every day and we're here because we love bikes, we love working on bikes and there's no crap around it. We literally just come in because we love working on bikes. So yeah. that is this is like uh, the ultimate man, man cave. Sort of it, yeah. So, which is, from what I understand, with Vince's whole philosophy with it, is, um, he just wanted to work on bikes and enjoy what he does day to day. And it has just grown from one thing to another without any marketing, without any push, without any overall goals that he wants to be somewhere. In fact, it's almost grown beyond his expectations. So it's literally just being a natural incarnation of the passion for bikes. And again, it's very honest, it's very face value. So when you do see a million bikes in here and it being a bit messy, we're crazy busy and stuff like that. We but we take a lot of pride in our work. So Absolutely. It is, yeah. Yeah, there's no, 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 no crap. It's literally just. And it's, and it's, it's just you guys have so much understanding of you know retro bikes, and then you have like a really rich culture, the knowledge behind it. And it's really cool. And um, we do try. <laughs> we we have a um, very vast and interesting background with bikes as well like my background personally is very different to Vince's background for example um, but collectively well I come from riding BMX comparatively for the last it's not hard to tell um, yeah. you have that like how do you say it? like you just have this spark like a, you know more about like uh, custom custom parts and fashion sort of thing yeah well, uh, if, I, if, I, if I give off that vibe, then, first, then that's cool, but um, yeah, well, my background is BMX, but all areas of industry, wrenching, I've worked in wholesale, I've worked in warranty mechanics, so I've worked in graphic mechanics, sales, managing stores, I just came from managing the big indoor skate park at Switch Group, um, and I did that for three years, um, running events and everything else, so, as well as done getting a little bit involved behind the scenes as well and a local brand where it's product designed for BMX and stuff. Yeah. And, but bikes man. I love all bikes like there's no, there's no ride road bike, I'll ride anything yeah. like a bike. And then it's again, it's just literally we're heavy for the passion about which is great. Absolutely. Um, so hopefully that translates. Yeah yeah so you guys mainly do uh, bike repair, custom build bikes and stuff? Yeah so we aren't Primarily retail focus. So we, our goal is to provide for the local community, and we're part of the community. Um, our goal is to provide exceptional workmanship on bike when another store 
the camp built from where you want to be able to solve it. And yeah. That's sort of the idea. Is we just want to do a good job and enjoy what we do. Absolutely. So um, if I can't fix it, go to this guy. <laughs> yeah, well, give it a go. Like, we haven't been proven wrong yet. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. So. We, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, man. Nice, nice. I don't really know what else to say. We, we just love bikes and working on bikes. So, we don't want to get real drunk. We just want to enjoy what we do. And that's what we enjoy. Yeah, nice. Like, this is a good space. Um, and if you want, you can just like move around stuff. This is, you know, really cool. There's a lot of history in some of the stuff around as well. It's, 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 it's incredible. We do a lot of restoration. Yeah. Um, we've done some really cool high-end stuff. As, as you saw with the yeah. wheels over there. Yeah, yeah. And at the moment, yeah. this is the yeah. it's just been a cool project. So, yeah. so as you know, we're building the Tough America. Uh, we have that Ridley coming in. We've got, we just sent out that other Merc, the cool black one. Um, restoration wise, you saw Vince's bike. Um, we had a. You would have to speak to Vince, but there has been that many cool and unique and interesting bikes, and every single one has been taken to that nth degree to make sure that every detail is perfect. And that's exactly what the customer wants. How good, it, how good does it feel when you finally put all the parts together to do like, you know, finish the, the build for the project, right? Well, that, that, that can come in two parts, right? It can be the frustration of trying to make sure everything's fit together, yeah. like, oh my god, it's done. Yes. But then when you stand back and you can actually appreciate the yeah. overall build, yeah. um, especially if it's a proper, like, the right reflection of the customer, what they want, and yeah. you can talk about it as well. Dude, it, it's like anything custom, it's like delivering anything high quality that if you've had that opportunity to deliver that, yeah. it's, it's, awesome. It's, awesome. it's absolutely awesome. Like, yeah. Don't really know how to describe it apart from going through into detail. Absolutely, I, 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 I know how, how that feels. That's yeah, right. Yeah. It's, um, uh, that, that feeling just yeah. being able to deliver that to the customer, yeah. the customer being over the moon and yeah. just appreciate Because they, they're like, oh, so sorry, dude, I, just, I know I have high expectation, yeah. but this is like beyond that. So, whoa. Right, like you, you understand it as, yeah. as bike people, even not just bike people, so anyone that can appreciate cars, they can appreciate um, anything passionately, yeah. like having something like that and being able to deliver that to the customer is awesome. It is the best feeling. So, yeah, man. So, yeah. these guys? I'll put a link down below and look them up. You guys have a website? Yeah, yeah. so spoke and so spoke in sprocket. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Dot com dot you. Awesome. Do you have that type of Instagram? No, we do actually. And it should just be again spoke in sprocket. So spoke in sprocket. I'll add these guys and then put a link down below. Just left the shop. Paulo just turned off. Man, these guys are really chilled. Just, you know, very good vibe. Look who this is! How are you? Hey, man! You today? Yeah, I did. Why are you always looking sharp? Because... New Jersey. KOS. Oh, is that New Jersey? Yeah. Nice! New one. Um, what, you stole soloing today or you just finished with a bunch? No, I just went solo. That helmet's sick. Uh, this one? Yeah. You know what? I ordered a different one. So, this is the MIPS, MIPS version. Yep. Um, I, I, I ordered a black, white, and with red. 140 bucks on pushies. This is like 170. Yeah. And they sent me this one instead. So is it better or? So it's better with the MIPS. Yeah. I was like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I think they retail like 400 something, 450. I saw, do you uh, follow, I think, Chris, Chris Miller? Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had uh, the team helmet. He has a review. I'm like, heck yes. Yeah. Thanks, Chris, if you're watching. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's been good. The only complaint I have, not really a complaint, it's just a little bit heavy. Like 400 grams. That, doesn't that come up and down? It does. And when you open it, it just cold air hits your forehead really hard. It works. Yeah. It works. So, yeah, get one. I'll probably open it now. Good, good, um, bump into your little bro. Yep. You're always looking sharp, man. West side, What bro. can I say? West side. Yep. All right, well, Right, see you during the week. Yeah, absolutely. Just send me a message. Yeah, I will. Alright, cool. Alright, see ya. See ya.